Hello everyone. My name is Sumit Goel. I am a Click2 subject matter expert and today I am going to share my learning about how to implement a security in Click2 using Section Excel. So first of all let's understand what is the Section Excel basically and why do we use, why do we go for security or why do we implement a security in Click2. So there are two good reasons to implement section access security in our documents or in Click2. First is it helps to protect the data from unauthorized access and it limits what data authorized user can see and what they can do with that data. So basically let's, let's suppose we have created one Click2 document and we want that the unauthorized user will not be able to open our Click2, Click2 document. Because if you have saved, a, if you have created a ClickView document and if you share that ClickView document with anyone, so it will be easy for everyone to open that ClickView document in a ClickView desktop software. But if we want to put a security part, security measures on into on that application, so for doing this, we'll be going to take the help of section access. So basically, ClickView is a great way to gather information and enable easy analysis of data. However, like a ClickView document, like any other computer file might get lost or stolen. So, with, uh, with a ClickView, without section access, anyone can open the file. And there are also scenarios where you don't want authorized user to view the full data set. So, section access does a great job reducing data to control what authorized user can see and cannot see. Now section access comes in many flavors. A simply username and password might be sufficient for some documents where in other scenario you want a specific user to sit inside your domain and be logged as a specific user to a specific machine and use a certain serial number section X. So section access, access can do this too. So let's see how to implement a security in a click view and how to implement a section access in a click view. So to do this, let's move on to our ClickView document. So I open my, first of all I'm going to create a blank document over here and I save this document on my desktop as a sample demo, demo 123 ClickView document. Now I'm going to load the data set and then I'm going to create a simple bar chart. So I click on edit script, table files, I load the data, sample superstore sales excel and uh, embedded labels, finish, save, reload the data and close. And here I created two list boxes, region and the product category. Click on OK. So now you can see here there are two list boxes are added over here, product category and region over here. Now I'm going to create a bar chart over here. So I right click on the blank sheet area, select chart from there. I'm going to create a bar chart. So click on next. And I'm going to display the re the, total, the sum of sales region wise. So I select the region as my dimension and the sum of sales as my expression. So sum of sales. Okay. And the label is total sale region. Let's say total sale and finish. So you can see here this is the bar chart created with total sale over here. Now as you know if I'll close this, if I'll save this data, if, uh, save this document over here and close it, let's say I close this document, close my ClickView application and reload my ClickView application. So I close my ClickView application and again open my ClickView application over here. So as you can see here, this ClickView application opens directly. So there is, because right now there is no security measures for this particular document over here. Now I want to implement a security measure over here. So how to do that? So to implement a security, I will go to edit a script. Then click on file because it's a matter of security. So we will be going to create a hidden script over here. So I'm going to create a hidden script. So in this edit script tab, I click on file, create hidden script, 
enter the password 123 123 so whatever the password over here click on ok so you can see here a hidden script tab has been created now the advantage of this hidden script tab is that next time whenever a user logged in he will not be a normal user will not be able to see this hidden script whatever you write over here or whatever script you write over here it will not be visible to a normal user and if a normal user wants to access this hidden script he should know the password so next is I am going to create a section access over here so how to do that click on insert section access inline and here I choose two fields user ID and password I click on OK over here and now what I want is we have here access ID, access user ID, password and I add third fourth column over here that is percent product category product category and here I write the credentials you admin access as an admin as, as an admin or as a user so right here admin the password is admin one two three and I write here star star means this admin will be able to access all type of products here I write user one and user one two three and here I write furniture so it means this user one will only be able to access the product category whose product category is furniture so I'm going to create three users over here user user this is user 1 user 2 user 3 this is user let's say 456 user 90 and this user first user can access furniture uh, product category second can access office supplies and third can access I did this and click on OK. So you can see here the script has been created over here. This script you can create manually also or you can take the help of this section access in line also. So in this scenario we have created a section access over here but now what we have to do is we have to match this particular section access with the product category list box over here. So for, to, for doing this again I click on insert select load statement load in line here I select tools and click on document data and here I select product category field. okay so these are the three fields I'll change the I write here the just give me one second insert load statement load in line document product category okay here this one percent sorry product category and uh, because we have to match with this so I'm going to use the same column which I have mentioned over here over here also percent product category so basically we are creating a mapping over here this office supply so I write here office supply so values which I have mentioned over here I am going to use this so it means like if the user logged in as a user 2 and user 456 so he will be only be able to see the product, cat product category as an office supplier technology technology here furniture and click on ok this is done now I'm going to save this script and reload this script. now in this scenario if you try to open the edit if you click on edit script again you can see the hidden script right now but once you close this and if you open this again for example I close this sample demo one two three open so it is asking for user ID right now so I mentioned a user ID over here let's say admin and I write over here password admin 123 so admin can access all the records over here all type of product category furniture office supplies and technology but if you close it 
and if you logged in login again see it will not ask for a password because it is in the memory itself so what you have to do is you have to close this and then open again so let's close this and will open i close this and i'll open click you again open it op again here and this time i'm trying to enter the second user that is i'll enter user 1 password is user 1 2 3 but right now you see that still like we have mentioned that user 1 can access only office supplies or furniture or technology but still it is able to see all the product categories why this is so because we have to do some initial data reduction over here so how to do that for this we have to log in into our as an admin because admin can do the settings over here so I'll again open this as an admin logged in as an admin admin123 and what I did I'll go to its document properties and opening and in opening I mentioned initial data reduction based on section access this is must if you do not check this your section access will not work and strict exclusion click on ok and reload the data once again close close the click queue yes and then open again so I again open the click queue and now I try to open logged in as a user one so I open over here enter user one password is user one two three and you can see this user one will only be able to access the product category furniture if you logged in as a user two for example if I logged in as a user 2 over here I enter here user 2 password is user 456 see the product category change so like this we can restrict user by uh, selecting uh, by using the product category or the all product category we can def we can uh, restrict user by doing this so this is all about the security measures and section access in click view. I hope this video will help you to understand about security measures and section access if you have any questions you can visit our website www.bispsolutions.com or you can subscribe to your, our YouTube channel I'll, I will be coming up with some new videos with new topics in my new videos Till then, bye-bye.